The following video will provide an introduction to the ICD PERC VUE current density heat map and its usage. We'll first start off with viewing a current density violation in VUE and then opening up and using some of the features of the current density path heat map GUI. To view a current density error in ICV VUE, open the VUE file which was generated during your current density run. Upon opening this file, Navigate to the PERC Results tab and select a current density error. When an error is selected, note that the first line represents the entire path and everything below it represents components of that path. For example, I01 would be the source. If we were to right click this, we could highlight the net itself in the layout viewer, as well as the port polygons, locations, or specific layers of that net. If right clicking on a device component, Different options are presented, such as the ability to highlight the device or information about that device. For the purpose of this video, we'll be looking at the path and the heat map. If we right-click the path, we can highlight the flight lines between our sources and sinks. Note the red line, which is between our source and sink, in the layout viewer. If we wish to view more information specifically about the current density properties of this path, right-click path and select PERC Path Heat Map. Doing so brings up the Highlight Path menu. We have the ability to hide VUE to make it easier to see. Up at the top, we have different options. This button will take you to the PERC Options menu, which we'll explore in a later video. The ability to erase your highlights. Different view options. We can either have the view change off when you select an error, pan over to what you have selected, or zoom in specifically on the highlight region. Pro Polygon is also an option which we'll explore later. This allows the user to click any polygon in your layout and see properties and current density values associated with that polygon. From here, we can also highlight the sources, sinks, or the flight line. For example, Let's say we want to view our source. We'll color this highlighting green. Now let's make the highlight quite large so it's easier to see. Upon doing this, note that the green shape is highlighted over our specific source. If we did the same for sync with our magenta, note we have a highlighted region down here. The bin shown are bins for the current density regions, or the different regions selected. You can type highlight based on physical layer, current density limit in relation to your error percent, the current density itself, current in the wires, or the voltage dissipation. Let's use current density. The bins shown are auto-calculated for you, and the number of bins can be set in the PERC options field. If you wish to change the values of the bins, you can do so by typing immediately. And if you wish to recalculate the bin ranges based on the new value, you can do so by right-clicking and choosing Recalculate Bin Ranges. For this example, let's look at all of the bins in VDD and IO1, but let's only do so on Metal 1. Note that the metal one current density is relatively low, but let's zoom in and view the current density properties of a specific metal region. If we choose the pro point in the highlight path option, we can go into our layout viewer and select a specific region. Note this region of M1 is on the IO1 net, part of metal one, and we can view the current density values associated with that exact polygon area. Doing so allows us to view more information about our design, and also gives us a little bit more of an idea of how current's flowing in the design. If we choose to go back into view and view specific information about the metals involved in the violation, we can go back to show view, thus showing the view GUI again, and also take a look at the metals specifically in the layer list. Previously, we'd selected the path, 
In the chart down here, we have all the metal layers, which are involved with violations. Also, the current density, the limit of the layers themselves, and the current values, widths, lengths, and area involved. Area only shows up for vias, not for conducting layers. If we wish to highlight a specific metal, we can do so. And it'll bring it up in the IC Validator Workbench. These columns are all sortable and can be used to search for metal layers that we previously viewed in our heat map. Also, we can zoom to the sources and sinks from this panel as well. For further information on this and other ICV-related topics, please contact your ICV Perk support. Thank you.